Hey, what's going on everybody? JJ Wilson here. And this audio recording or video is going to be more like a response video for a topic that was made by a fellow YouTuber, J Chip from the J Chip Show. Shout out to that guy if he's listening. Anyway, the topic that he did was about video game movies and anime movies. So basically you'll have a game that's out and it gets popular enough to be made into an anime TV series. And the other way around, you'll have an anime that's popular, and then next thing you know, there's a game after it, right? So, he was, because uh, I think somebody in his channel asked him whether or not, um, what was his opinion about games and anime, like, uh, how he feel about it and stuff. Well, my response to that would be, I've seen some really good ones. I've seen some good adaptations of video games going into animes, and I've seen some bad ones and the other way around. I've seen really great animes have a movie come out, and it was downright awful, okay? I, I wrote down a list. It, it did take me a little time to think about it, but I wrote down a list. I think I have more game movies converted to animes than the other way around, than, like, animes going into video games. So... Okay, I got it from like good to okay to just downright awful. So let's just start with the good. Who can forget, or who, who can't forget? <laughs> who cannot forget the, uh, the movie back in the 90s, Street Fighter? Okay, based on Street Fighter 2. I don't need to go into detail how epic that movie was, all right? Even the opening, the opening fight scene with Ryu and Sagat. It doesn't get no more hardcore than that. I mean, they're fighting in grass, open field, it's lightning. And it's Ryu and Sagat, two rivals in the game. They're fighting it out for a superiority of who is the best street fighter out there. And Ryu comes out on top. Yeah, he comes out on top after he gives Sagat this big giant scar across his chest. Who, who can forget that? <laughs> who cannot forget that? You know, it's classic. <laughs> and that, we're not even talking about the shower scene with Chun-Li fighting all Vega after that or uh, Ryu going up against Fei Long, Ken fighting um, fighting Ryu at the end of the movie you know he was already possessed and stuff I mean it, it's crazy man but another good one that I personally liked was Fear of Fury back in the 90's like the first couple movies like the first one where Terry avenges uh, not only his father but his girlfriend Lily McGuire uh, going up against Geese Howard and then later him and Andy Bogard and, and Joe come back to face Wolfgang Krauser That was crazy and that fight between Terry and Wolfgang is a classic. I'm hey, it is what it is It was an all-time classic for me um, So yeah, those movies now the third movie that they made uh, That one was kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. So that last one was pretty weak Because then it just got got kind of out of hand and and they had a lot more characters in there from the Fatal Fury series but it just got kind of dumb and then there was this chick that like you never saw this chick anymore the blue hair girl I forget her name it's been years since I've seen this movie but if for those that are old enough to remember like you never saw that girl again after that movie <laughs> especially in the games the SNK games so you, you didn't see her anymore and Let's see, one more. This is an anime converted to a game. Uh, the Fist of the North Star. Old school anime. A classic. Now, shout out to Ash the Man. Uh, he's been playing the Fist of the North Star game that came out a few years. Uh, maybe not a few years ago, but maybe like 2019 or 2018. So he's just not playing that on the PS4. And that's not a bad looking game. I can see myself playing it pretty decent game i mean it's got some uh scenes on there got some of the more iconic characters that we remember such as uh kenshiro rao uh toki uh yuria i mean hey no said about that game it's 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 a nice uh it's one of the better anime to video games that i've encountered but maybe i should play it you know if i make time to play it but yeah shout out to ash for showcasing that game and allowing me to see that the ones that were okay, now this is a video game converted to an anime. Uh, Sengoku Muso or Samurai Warriors. Now that's, that franchise has gotten pretty high traction and it's similar to Dynasty Warriors for those that play Dynasty Warriors. And so there's actually an anime out for this that came out back in 2014, about seven years ago. Pretty decent. 
you know, it could have been a lot better. Could they added a lot more characters on there and expanded it? Sure. But, you know, for what it was, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, I liked how they uh, portrayed the Sonata brothers. You know, it was like a, a rivalry with them. And then they had a difference of opinion on which side to pick for the fate of Japan and the future of all samurai and stuff like that. So I liked how they presented that, like the developers presented that with them, at least. Of course, you know, you had a couple of meaningless filler episodes in there, but outside of that, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, let me get to some, yeah, let me get into the ones that were like downright bad, just, just to wrap this up. The first one that comes to mind is the Tekken movie. Now, Tekken, the gaming franchise, one of the best fighting game franchises out there, one of my personal favorites. There was a anime adaptation made back in the 90s. And I think this was right after the second game came out. So it was based on Tekken 2. Oh boy. That movie, at the time, I liked it. But then, you know, going back, watching it some more. Like, damn, this movie could have been a lot better than what it was, man. Really. Uh, like, it kind of made Michelle Ch Chang into a brat. Even though she was supposed to be like this good-natured girl. She kind of made her into a brat. And there weren't enough June Kazama footage out there like she was kind of naked in a scene but it was just her holding like a necklace because she was remembering the times that she had with Kazuya when they were children or whatever so it was implied that they grew up together although in the actual story it's not implied that they grew up together they just kind of knew each other you know in the tournament and then she kind of developed feelings for him because he knew he was a tormented she knew that Kazuya was a tormented soul and he needed help but yeah other than that like it could have been a lot more. It could, but well, actually, there was a shot I see in Tekken. Let me take that back with uh, Anna Williams. Still not as good as Chun Li. Like I said, you know, it's it's gonna be hard to beat that Chun Li shower scene. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, it just is. <laughs> but yeah, like the fights. I think the fight between Heihachi and Kazi was too short, honestly, because uh, it didn't take long for Kazi to get in that in that tail to beat the the literally the face out of Heihachi, his own father. But thankfully, June was there to stop him. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's actually a short movie, too. That's probably another reason why. It was only, like, maybe an hour at the most. So, it was a kind of a short anime film. But really, it could have been a lot better than what it was. Now, let's go into... Right, let's go into the animes that were converted to games that were, like, just downright bad to me. Uh, Dragon Ball Budokai. Um, yeah, I've seen the gameplay of that. And we all know Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Z were like all time one of the best animes out. But then to see these games, uh, the anime being converted to games is just, man. I wasn't impressed. I mean, okay, they're flying around, they're fighting each other, but they're not fighting at the speed that you saw in the cartoons. They're just not. It's just the flair and the excitement just isn't there, man. I, I'm sorry, just not there. So that's why I never picked up on the series. I, I played a few times with cousins. Not impressed. And the more recent game that came out, I believe four years ago, Jump Force. Oh man, Jump Force. Jump Force is like Jump Force is like this experimental anime crossover game. They put all of the famous anime characters in this one game to have for people to just kind of have these fancy battles of what would happen if uh, Goku faced off against Naruto, or Deku faces Himura Kenshin, or Ichigo fighting up against uh, who else? Um, Yoruchi or somebody like that. <laughs> I mean, like, oh yeah, I think even isn't is Kentro in Jump Force? I can't remember. But it's basically all these different anime characters in this game, and, it's, and you're looking at it, and it's like, really? And some of the dialogue is just corny. You know, it's like it's some of the most random stuff it, it's it, it's been so long since i've seen like some of the trailers and the interactions with these characters and this is just like wow this is bad <laughs> the gameplay is just not there so really man my opinion it's like a hodgepodge you, you like what you like i mean you can like a series but just understand it's not doesn't mean when it goes to a game format or it goes into a movie format it's going to be just as great as what you saw in said show or what you played in said game i mean it's all really for me it's all into interpretation i mean you know just just understand that if you're a fan of a series like don't try to get so biased to where like oh man the the anime wasn't that bad 
I played the game. The game is amazing. The, uh, the movie was good too. Like, nah, we come on, bro. You gotta be objective here. If you if you see it's bad, it's bad. Same thing with the video game having an anime series. If we know the anime series isn't following up to the game story, or the fights just aren't the same, and you gotta call it out too. You know, it just draw down a line. You know, don't be don't be overly biased and don't tell lies. Is what I'm trying to say. But I'm gonna end it off here because I kind of ragged on or dragged this on long enough. Anyway, you guys take care. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. See ya.